the U5 link for Yezu, a uh, product that pops up everywhere on uh, eBay. Uh, but what is it? Hang on after the intro and uh, we'll take a look. Welcome again to the uh, Lima Bravo Zero Fox Trot India YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at this, the uh, U5 Link, uh, which is a digi mode and cat control interface for uh, Yaesu radios uh, that you can find pretty much everywhere on eBay. I needed something for my relatively new uh, 817 and uh, didn't want to spend the cash for a single link, so I started looking around for alternatives. And uh, I thought we, we could take a quick look at it and see how it performs. This is not going to be a full review, but uh, it's going to be a quick test and see if everything works. First of all, we'll take a look of what you get in the box. Uh, when you open the box, you get uh, the cat control and accessory cable. You get the two audio cables, a USB cable, and uh, you get the U5 link itself and you don't get a manual. So as is with most Chinese products, you have to do a little bit of digging yourself to figure out how to do this. The good news is though, uh, once you plug it in, it pretty much works. I set it up with uh, Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, recognized the radio straight away. So I thought uh, we could take a look at uh, FT8 first and see how it performs. I fired up JTDX and uh, did a little bit of FT8 on uh, 40 and uh, 20 this morning. I uh, didn't have a whole lot of luck on uh, 20, but 40 worked really, really well. I uh, also uh, checked PSK Reporter to see where I was spotted. And I managed both on 20 and 40 to get spotted pretty much uh, all around Europe. And uh, on 40, I even did get a little bit of a pileup, as you can see. Uh, managed to log a couple of contacts. Just a quick test to see if everything works, but uh, it works really, really, really well on uh, on FT8. And uh, what about programming the cable, you think? Um, it is a two meter radio as well as an HF radio. And um, it would be nice if I could use Chirp or something similar. So I fired up Chirp, put in the right COM port, and there's a little bit of a procedure you gotta do with Chirp to get this to work. Uh, I gotta press and hold a couple of buttons, but it's uh, it's pretty, pretty simple to, to get this done. And uh, download it from the radio straight away. So my next step is gonna be programming in a couple of repeaters. What I think I'll do with the 817 in the shack is use it for two meter digit modes and uh, sideband operation, uh, maybe with a PA for it. and. I don't use it even in a field for portable operations, but it's always nice to be able to do digital modes. This is just a quick preliminary uh, test of it to see that everything works. I'm probably gonna take it out in the field as soon as I get some days off and uh, try it, try to do some digi modes in the field. I'm also gonna try to see if WinLink works and uh, JS8 Call, but I figured, uh, there's really nothing on YouTube or the web uh, at all about this interface, except for uh, one Japanese video, one Russian video, and uh, two Spanish videos. And um, I don't speak any of those languages. And uh, to be honest, uh, YouTube's subtitle feature isn't really that good. So I figured I'd make a video in English for all you guys that wonder, does this thing work for the price you pay for it? And the short answer is yes, it does work works really well uh, on my short test here. It's gonna be really, really exciting to test this interface further on and I'll make some videos about it in the next couple of months. So thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see all you guys later, 7-3.